Good morning. Good morning. This is Easton. Easton is 10 and currently in fourth grade. And we are going to do a lesson today in um, math workbook four from Easy Peasy. We use Easy Peasy for math and language arts and a bunch of our group subjects. So we just wanted to walk you through the lesson that we're currently on today and give you a little sneak peek into how math looks for us daily. And we choose to use the workbooks to work offline, but I'm also gonna show you the option of using the online course if you choose to do that for your family. You can also use a mix of both, which we do at different times as well. So I'm gonna show you what the online course looks like as well. So you can see the comparison offline workbook versus online using the computer. Again, you can mix them up. You can use a snippet of both. So you can use online for a portion of the lesson, and then you can use the workbook for a portion of the lesson, or you can do one day online, one day offline. However it works for your family, that's what we love. One of the reasons we love Easy Peasy so much is that it's so easy to work with your lifestyle and your family and what you would like to see for your children as far as the mix of school work, textbook versus online. Um, so yes, that's one of the things we enjoy so much about Easy Peasy is that it's so family friendly for a variety of different lifestyles. So let's jump right in. We have um, a lesson to work through. So using the, the workbook, I have the parent guide as well that has the lesson laid out for me. And then Easton has a worksheet in his workbook to complete. And then there's also a snippet of independent work for him to do that kind of reviews and recaps everything that we have been learning over the past few weeks. Um, I have also on my own worked out all of the problems that we will be going over today just so I completely understand what is going on and so I understand how to teach the lesson. Doesn't mean I'm gonna do it perfectly, but I at least have a grasp on what we are um, learning about and the steps that need to be taken to get to our answer. Again, I will reference the parent guide. So thankful for the parent guide. It has a lesson, which I'll turn the camera around and show you what that looks like. And then also in the back is an answer key. So you have all of the answers right there for you in case you don't want to work out the problems on your own or when you're going over to check answers for your child, everything is right there for you. You don't need to calculate it on your own. So yes, let's go ahead and jump right in. We are going to be subtracting mixed numbers today. I have everything on the board back here. <laughs> we use the board for some work to make it a little fun. We also just use scrap paper sometimes if we're um, not interested in using the board, but it's there. Um, so I've written two, um, I think actually four total, I'll flip the page. There's four total problems back here that I'm going to work through as I'm explaining the lesson. And then Easton will have a worksheet on his own to complete. Um, I will work through the problems with him if needed. Otherwise I will send him off to be independent to complete them, but I'm always here if he has any questions and needs any help. So ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get to it. Looking up on the board, you will see two problems that I've written there for you. The first one is seven and three fourths minus two and one fourth. So when you are subtracting mixed numbers, you want to look at the numerator here and the numerator here. Can you take three minus one? Yeah. You can, yeah. So you can just go ahead and work with your whole numbers first. So do seven, take away two. Five and five. one half. You're gonna subtract your numerators. Three minus one is two, good. You have five and two fourths. You're just gonna bring your denominator straight over, which also reduces to five and one half. Very good. Five and one half is the lowest that you can get your fraction, right? Okay. Okay, so we've gone over the lesson. Let me show you the lesson real quick. This is the parent guide, okay? So lesson 139 is what we did today. 
So you can use this word for word if you'd like to. I have already read over it and I was able to explain it kind of what made sense to me. And then it just tells you to go on to the worksheet when you're done. So then this is the worksheet that goes with our lesson today. Subtracting mixed numbers gives you directions. And then <clears throat> he can be independent with this, but I'm right here if he needs me. This is a little bit of a harder part down here. And then after he's completed this worksheet, he will flip back to daily review for the week. He will find lesson 139 and he will do this independent work on his own. And this is the review work that he should re he should remember from what we've been learning over the past few weeks. But again, I'm here if he needs it. This is just kind of um, review for them to keep mentally on track with everything that they have gone over the past few weeks. So we will go ahead and move on with this worksheet now and he will work as best as he can on his own. I will help him if needed. And then again, I will show you really quickly in the back of the parent guide where the answers can be found. So once he works through everything, all the answers are here for me that I can tell him if he's correct or not. Now this doesn't show all of the work worked out completely, but I had already gone through and worked all the problems out on my own. So then if he has any questions on any step of the way I have the work done, that we can compare notes and go from there. Down here too. Did you just remember that answer or you just, did you solve it again in your head? Yeah. Okay. All right, can you do the next one? Good. Okay, so I also wanted to show you what the online option looks like if you choose to do that. You can also reference this if you have trouble um, wording a lesson or need help teaching it. I've done that before as well. So you click on the lesson number that you need and we are in lesson 139. So if you are using the online version, this is what your lesson will look like. And it shows you here that there's three different parts to this lesson. There's this link that the child will click on, and then it gives tells you exactly what you need to click on to get to the certain problems to practice, complete 10 of them. And then you're gonna come and you're gonna do step number two, find the equivalent fraction, get four correct. And then number three, multiply the decimal, get one correct. And so I showed you in the workbook that Easton will go back and do the independent review work. And that's basically what these are here for the online version. This would be review of fractions and decimals that they've been focusing on pretty much this whole year. That's been a big focus this year. And then the fraction workshop would be basically the lesson version for today. We I showed you the offline version, which we use for the workbook. But if you're do going online, this would be the lesson portion. So then you simply click on the link here. And then if you look back to the lesson, it says click on subtract with mixed fractions and with like denominators. So we're going to click on subtract fractions. And then I'm pretty sure it said mixed fractions. Yeah, mixed fractions. And like denominators, which I'm assuming is same denominator. Okay, hit go. And then it's gonna give you the problems to solve and then reduce if possible. So you basically just solve the problem. And then if you hit check, it will tell you if you're correct. And then down here, it tells you how many you have correctly answered. And the lesson is asking you to complete 10. Now, obviously, if you're using the online version, you're um, trusting your child if you're not sitting beside them to be honest and truthful. So you can go back and you can double check to make sure they have 10 or if you just trust them to complete that. Um, basically, what I'm saying, there's nothing here to show 
that they have completed. This doesn't record any completion or anything like that. You, as a parent and as a child, have to record that on your own if that's something that you need to keep track of for state regulations. Um, the books are nice because you have some papers and you have actual work that your child has completed that you can add into a portfolio if needed. But this is a nice option to have if you need to mix up your online offline or just for a little extra fun practice. I have also at different times pulled up YouTube videos if I am truly struggling on explaining a certain concept. So say your child came to this page and they were here and they clicked this, they clicked this and they hit go. And there's really no lesson here to explain to them how to solve this. So if they cannot figure it out on their own, you can pull up a YouTube video explaining the concept that this is asking them to solve. I have done that before as well if I've been struggling on explaining something or if I need to step away and I need Easton to be super independent on his own. So that's an option as well. Two and one half. For that one? Yep. Are you asking me? Yeah. Okay, let's get that. Two and one half. Yes, what was your first one? Four and, one Four and a half. half. Yes, good job. That's correct. You can get that last one there. All right. Good. That worksheet's done? Yep. All right, good job. Now flip back to your independent daily review. Okay, and you're on, you just did lesson 139. So this is the review that you'll do. Find an equivalent fraction and then multiply your decimal here, okay? Write your answer as a decimal over here. Wait, no. Good. Make sure you line your numbers up in the same thing. So after he finished up his daily review for the day, that is math completed for him for today. So it took us about 20 minutes. Um, he pretty much understood what we were doing. If there was anything that he was super confused on, I would have gone over it um, again or given him some additional problems or something, but he seemed pretty confident. So yep, that completes that for today. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'm happy to answer. If I was unclear about something, please ask. Please don't hesitate to ask. I'm happy to help as much as I can. So thanks for joining us today, and we will talk very, very soon.